Hey, it's Michelle with Flow Into Grace. If you are dealing with low back pain or if you are finding yourself stressed out and wanting to relax, this is a great posture for you. It's called constructive rest and I'm using a variation with either a chair, you can use any sort of chair or you can even slide right up against uh, your couch. And all you need is a blanket for your head or a pillow for your head. And if you can, grab a strap. Either, um, if you don't have a strap, you can grab a bathrobe tie or a belt. You can find anything to wrap around. We're gonna wrap it around our thighs, just above the knees. So when you are ready, you're just gonna go ahead and grab that and let's get the strap around the thighs. This is gonna allow you to completely relax into this posture. And for the full description of the benefits of this posture, you can check it out below the video in the description. And from here, you want to make sure that the, the tie or the strap, when you press your knees out, that they are about hip distance apart. So you don't want them totally in, you don't want them totally out, but just a nice hip distance apart. When you're ready, you're going to gently scoot yourself up to either your chair or your couch and bring your pillow and just kind of you can prop yourself on your elbow and let yourself down nice and slowly and you're basically starting by lying on your side and then you want to roll gently onto your back you might need to do a couple of adjustments here and just to get your body in a nice straight line and here's the key for the relaxation of your back for the release of low back pain you want to line up your knees above your hips. So you don't want to be all the way, like you'll notice this is not much of a right angle. So you want to really kind of scoot, scoot, scoot your butt right against your couch or your chair so that the knees are more or less over your hips. This allows your psoas muscle to release and that muscle connects your upper and your lower body. So many keys in that muscle, but that's for another video. Anyway, from here, just allow the small of your back to begin to release and melt into the earth. And your arms can be in any way that is comfortable for you. I like to keep them palms facing up in a nice receiving mode, keeping the heart open. You're also welcome to bring your hands to your belly to connect with your breath or maybe one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, anything that feels good for you. And really just find stillness in your body. And as you begin to slow your breath, if you can, breathe in and out through the nose. And then begin to find stillness in your mind. So constructive rest offers you true relaxation, which activates your parasympathetic nervous system, your rest and digest. So often we think we relax at the end of a long day by vegging out and watching TV, but that's actually stimulating to our senses. So true rest comes from what you're doing right here, right now. Just allowing your body to be, allowing your mind to be, and just feeling your breath flow through you freely. Each exhale, allowing yourself to relax even more. Relaxing the eyes, the jaw, Relaxing your throat and your neck. Relaxing your chest, your shoulders, your arms. Even feeling your wrists and your hands relaxed. And feel the whole length of your back relax. Your hips are relaxed. Feel your legs relaxed. Even your ankles and your feet.
constructive rest is great practice. Anywhere between five and 20 minutes. If you're new to this, I suggest starting small. Five minutes is fine. And you're welcome to stay in it longer as it feels good to you. So feel free to pause the video and stay here as long as it feels good to you. And when you're ready to come out of it, you're going to start to press your knees in towards your chest. If you want to take the strap off first, that might be a little bit easier to get up. So you can roll that strap off. Maybe give yourself a little hug. And when you're ready, roll to your side. Hang out there for a moment because right now some of the blood flow we had up in our legs and we just kind of want to recirculate before we get up. And when you're ready to rise, you're going to press into your hand or your fist and engage your abdominal muscles. Really just allow yourself to support yourself up as easy as possible. And I would love to hear how this felt for you. This is such a great restorative posture. So let me know in the comments below, how did this feel for you? I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you soon.